Hi, welcome to Able Tutorials. Today we are going to learn some 3D in Adobe Illustrator. So, in the first lesson, the first part of this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create these orbs uh, which emit light. And in the second part of this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to use the same techniques that we learned in the first part and create this awesome graphic. So, let's get started. Create a new document. There you are. Okay. So I've already got my layers panel open here. Yeah. So we're just going going to going ahead and uh, selecting the rectangle tool here. Yeah. Okay. So we just need to create some rectangles like that. Hold down the option key and as you can see my cursor turns into double arrows and then hold down the shift key as well and just drag the rectangle down press ctrl d and just make some rectangles here yeah. now just control uh, i mean just drag and uh, select all of them just make them a little that's it we don't need an outline in this so I'm just going to turn that off you can see this is how you turn it off just from here and just going right ahead and selecting my uh, uh, color right now we'll go ahead and uh, open the um, we'll open the uh, symbols panel we need to create a symbol We'll just select all again, drag and oh no, not right now. Now this this will not create a spiral. <coughs> so what we need to do is we select the direct selection tool. This is the white one right here. So just go ahead and click. Select the uh, points on the right hand side. You can also do it on the left hand side. Make sure when you hold down shift and drag drag the points up like so they need it needs to be aligned to this bottom point here yeah we'll now drag the entire group into the symbol library let's make name this uh, oopsie spiral there and we'll just keep this outside you notice the uh, plus symbol here sign this is a dynamic uh, symbol and I can if I want to uh, edit it I can always double click it and edit it right here and then you can go back by pressing this arrow here now we're going ahead going to make a ellipse hold down the option key so that you can draw it from uh, inside out now in this case we don't need a, uh, I mean we can, it doesn't matter, we can have a fill or an outline or both uh, because we're not going to use the geometry for this uh, lesson. Okay, so now again select the uh, direct selection tool here, drag and select. So this, when I do it with this, uh, when I select anything with the direct selection tool, if I drag and drop it will also select the path. So just go ahead and delete that. That's it. Now we're left with this. Go to 3D and we'll select Revolve. Yeah. Let's preview that. There we have a perfect uh, sphere here. Um, we'll go to Map Art. We will. select a uh, spiral the one we uh, created here in this this is the symbol library here which we created so let's go ahead and select that um, it's come in the center you can see it right here so what we need to do is just scale to fit uh, we make the 
geometry invisible by clicking on it let's for the time being uh, shade the artwork so that we we can see what's happening go ahead and click ok uh, give it a little tilt like so and like so there we have a nice little spiral going around here so go back to your map dot remove the shade press ok and press ok again so there we have our spiral now what we need to do is we'll go to uh, object and we'll expand the appearance and make it expand again ungroup and ungroup once more there now we just need to select this release clipping mask select the button behind release the clipping mask as well there press the space bar and the command or control tool on your uh, laptops and PCs and you can just zoom in so that we can we know exactly what we are doing okay, okay so we select this check and just give it a fill color yeah so you see these divisions here we need to join these so we'll just uh, what we'll do is we'll just right click ungroup select right click ungroup and ungroup it here as well select this and this and go to your pathfinder and make a union so go select this select that join them same with this and this and join that as well there we now have a paths the spiral in the correct way okay so once you open the layer panel what what you can do is you can cut oh, cut make a new layer I prefer working in layers so that's it's just easy for me and then you paste in place so it will paste exactly in the same place and come uh, Control shift v is the short command for this there you go and it will place in exactly the same place yeah so let's check that okay similarly okay these were all ungrouped so we can just go ahead click that if you click on this you can select the entire layer so all the objects on that uh, layer would be selected as you can see I have also selected this so hold down shift and deselect that so now we have all the parts here selected so you can just group them as well yeah okay so now we need to create a few themes that gets this out of the way uh, let's get, move this as well so let's go ahead and click select color themes hmm I already have a color here so we just need to check and select shades here let's also open the swatch panels the swatches so okay the easiest thing is like in the previous lesson as I had said we can easily uh, uh, easily click this and add to swatches as soon as we do that the swatches are all here let's select another color as well um, Do 
and we'll have to sort so here they all here okay let's close this for now so let's select this select the gradients this is here um, let's go ahead and do that double click this and select a darker shade double click that select another dark shade and you can see there's a plus sign next to my arrow and I just that means it will it will add another of these circles here another color so go ahead and click there and there I have another uh, circle double click and let's select a lighter color for this so you can you can drag this around yeah so let's drag that there and create another one here and create another lighter circle uh, color And because my uh, uh, sphere is tilted a bit, let's go ahead and give that a, a, an angle as well. So as you can see, my shade, the gradient, is also at an angle now. That looks good. We can we'll come back again and adjust the shading again. Okay. Similarly, select this um, and go ahead and create a. Uh, why that is still inside? Um, oh, okay. What we need to do is hit Control Y we just need to select these yeah so you can see it is all selecting the outside circle as well so we'll go back select the uh, direct selection tool and we'll select the circle here and delete there's another path here we'll do the same delete so now it's clear you can hit control y and check again there they're all gone okay so let's go ahead select and fill in a shade as well yeah so there's a uh, another way to do this as well uh, to change the color there if we go here edit colors recolor artwork I told you this in my previous lesson as well we can just select and there you can see change the colors yeah okay so we can edit it here as well let's select a darker shade here um, similarly let's select a little darker shade here as well should do um, and since we need to we'll be placing another orb inside so it needs to emit light so let's go ahead and give it a bright color in the middle so that it seems like you know there's some kind of light that is emitting from the inside um, we'll go ahead click outside and we'll select this the outer one again and uh, what we'll do is we'll select these two these two colors here and make this make the opacity here to 90 percent so there you can see it's a bit transparent and the 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 reason i'm doing this here is so that when you have the light emitting from inside so it will look 
um, uh, you know, like the light is coming through uh, that. Go ahead and make that 90 as well. There you go. So now you have something of a realistic spiral art. Uh, let's go ahead and create another layer. Let's call this background and we'll drag it right at the end. Yeah. So I'll lock these for now. You can just click here and lock. Uh, so then I, I I won't be able to select this. So you can see I'm trying to click. Um, okay, so hit uh, Command Zero or Control Zero in your PCs, and let's go ahead and create a background. Okay, there I have a background. Let's give this a color, and uh, let's give this a rich black because this black. Uh, here you can see it is 100% K so it will not uh, give me the correct um, what you call the blending of colors when I give it a glow um, so I will not change this right now so, so that I can demonstrate this later so let's go ahead and click that okay and let's open up these two so now I need to just make another circle um, let's do it here or oh, just I'll just make another layer here so let's rename these um, bottom spiral top spiral glowing okay so <clears throat> let's lock these spirals and we just have this layer open here so let's go right ahead and make a circle so it's come in between as you can see so let's give that a color and I'm going to go right ahead and make this a little big so that I know what I'm doing um, so we place it we can we will align all of this later I'm just just for the sake of demonstration right now I'm just using it like this okay <clears throat> so let's give that a color and we we'll go ahead and give that a radial glow yeah so we'll do click this make this yellow make this yellow as well and make these um, orange so it gives it a little kind of a sun glow um, this you can actually remove these these two also can go not really required yeah. so there you go so now you have a bright light inside okay um, we need to since it is glowing we can't have uh, harsh edges so we just need to select that and let's go and feather that a little bit so let's give it a three point feather you can press the preview and there you can see you know it's feathered out a bit yeah okay there you go so it's feathered out a bit now it also needs a glow so we'll go go to stylize again and we'll say inner glow we'll select that let's press preview so that we know exactly what's happening as you can see it's got a little sheen outside yeah you can see that yeah so let's select that let's give that a color like so let's bump up the blur amount to say about 20 let's see what it does there we have a nice glow 
um, you can increase the uh, let's make that 100 percent there you go so the glow is there but it is not looking realistic and it's looking grayed out now the reason for that is that the black that i've selected at the in the background the hair is not a true black it's not a cmyk black it's 100 percent black so we're just going to change that let's select that background we'll double click this and we'll just drag a cursor here and make that a rich black as you can see so as soon as you do that notice how this glow changes there you see that now it's a little more realistic here so we'll just uh, drag that and bring it to my swatches so there it has come and I'll be using this later <coughs> yeah so we'll just go and block this okay so let's work on this glow a little bit more so we can open the uh, appearance from here so all the uh, effects and all the properties are all here we can uh, drag and drop uh, each of these as as we do layers we can just hold and drag it, hold it and drag and drop up and down. So let me, I don't need to do it for this. So we'll just select the outer glow. Select the color. Let's select a really bright um, magenta or something like that. Yeah. As you can see, this gamut is, uh, let's go ahead and select that. Okay. Just press OK. Let's preview that. Let's give it a yellow, maybe bright yellow, maybe yeah, orange. This looks fine. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Um, wait, forgot. Let's try if we can. It looks better in hard light. Hard light is better. Yeah, we should just uh, make this 15, I guess. Yeah. So there we have a nice glow inside. Now, the the spirals itself. I mean, we'll have to show some kind of light that is hitting the spirals. So we'll go ahead. Um, unlock both of these we'll go to the stop spiral and give it another outer glow i've selected it okay give it an outer glow preview that too harsh good hard light yeah that looks good so we'll just make this in 10 can't be glowing too much okay let's make that five yeah this is much better and we'll do the same with the bottom see now I won't be able to select it very cleanly from here so this is the reason I've, I've just Put them on different layers so we just select the bottom uh, sorry the bottom spiral um, let's delete this uh, i don't really need this now okay so let's go ahead and select the bottom spiral again we'll just go ahead and give it an outer glow again there we go and let's give this glow there um, the glow on the outer spiral is a bit too much so you can just reduce make that as screen that. Um, make this three pixels two pixels
plus more like it. Okay, all right. So we have some kind of light which is emitting. Um, I think the glow here is a bit too harsh. Um, let's go ahead and fine tune this further. Okay. Let's hit preview. Uh, that's too much. Let's make that five. That's well. Let's make this seventy five. Yeah. Okay, much better. So we have some kind of light emitting from this. So let's go ahead and also edit the bottom glow as well. Make this 75 as well. Okay. There you go. So we have some kind of light emitting from here, but we do not have a shadow. So we'll just lock all these. I'll create a new layer. Let's call this uh, shadow light. Okay, shadow light. So, so what we do is create a circle, make it a flat color. Now this is a yellowish magenta color. So um, let's for the moment go with uh, say this color. All right. And we'll create another circle um, like that. And let's give this this black, not the other black. So I needed this black again. That's why I saved it. And let's send this right click, arrange, send to back. Now this is going send. This is going back only within this layer. So we'll just select both of them. Align, center, center. So go ahead and we're going to blend this. So here we have the blend tool. We'll go to blend options. We'll select specified steps and let's make these say 30. All right, okay. Go back again, go to blend and just say make or option command or alt control b there we have a nice light going there and all we need to do now is bring it like that so that we have something on the floor yeah okay so now let's go ahead and align all these so we need to select these three layers All three are selected as you can see and let's make this center and center. There you go. They're all aligned. And this will select select something on top, click it again. As you can see, it this will anchor it on the page and you press center align again. There, now it's aligned. Cool. So now we have our own light emitting orb. So that's it for this lesson. And for the next lesson, I'm going to teach you how to create this awesome graphic. That's it. That's how you create the light emitting uh, orb. And uh, do subscribe to my channel and keep watching my videos. Um, the next tutorial will learn how to create that fantastic graphic. Stay tuned and thank you.